Yo, what's going on, good people? Gardner Douglas, your oyster ninja. <laughs> Heading into work this morning. And um, something that just hit me. Uh, I was thinking about my trip to Maine. And uh, I guess my faith is now renewed of oyster shuckers. I haven't had a lot of faith and oyster shuckers and honestly it's one of the reasons why i don't like to recommend uh recommend oyster bars in places because it's not that i don't think they're gonna have good oysters i just don't think they're gonna have properly shucked oysters um and i know as a professional oyster shucker um a well shucked oyster can make or break you know a person Let's just say if you have dirt or grit in your oyster, that's gonna turn you off from eating the oysters again. Or if you bite down on the shell and you break your tooth off, you know, it's gonna, it's not gonna leave a, a, a great lasting memory. So um, I always, you know, have reservations. I'm using all kinds of different words today, it's feel good. Uh, but, I always like feel weird about recommend recommending um, oyster bars to people uh, for that fact. But anywho, uh, in my trip to Maine, we stopped at I think it's called Portland Oyster Shop. But I'll leave a link in the below, and of course you'll see this little clip that I'm about to show you. Um, but yeah, the oyster shucker there. She did flip a couple but I'm not mad at her. Uh, Cause they were still shucked good. Um, we had, I think I had five different types. I got one of each. I think I got five or six. I might've been six or seven, I don't know. But um, they were all shucked great. I didn't have any dirt, any shell. Um, they were shut, they were detached from the muscle, which you know is important. It was just shut good. I was like, yo, okay. And I even gave her kudos. I went back and took a selfie with her and uh, you know, let her know that she did a good job shucking. I don't know if she, you know, knows that I shucked oysters or not, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you that little bit and I'm gonna leave you with a clip um, for my trip to Maine. Peace and enjoy. I'm just gonna put you on this podcast. Okay, just like okay, you know. great. Um, these go in order from lemons to bottom of tray, same as top to bottom of menu. So you're starting with your foster point, flying point, native, win against cheap scot, all the way down to your long reach. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. What about flavor profile? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. I got uh, over 500 sub subscribers now, which feels great. Um, been doing this a while. Um, of course, if you're not listening to the Oyster Ninja podcast, check that out. Um, of course, the video the videos come here. The audio is on all streaming platforms. Peace. Y'all be safe. All right.